as if gossip isn't alive and well in 2018. You're saying that you did this for clout. You really tried it with me. What's up? This is part two. No, I don't like how bright this is, but I can't fix this right now. All right, um, hey, welcome back. So yeah, uh, I actually didn't think that many people would want me to like make a part two that bad, you know? Like I made the part one and I was like, mm, should I just change the title to just what it is or actually make part two? And um, yeah, a lot of garbage has come out this week so i felt the need to talk about it a lot of you have come up to me in person and have been like oh actually when you make part two are you gonna drop names because i also asked that on my snapchat like are you gonna talk about what this person did and how you feel about this i have a lot to say i'm gonna say names but not how you think i'm gonna use names like so i'm gonna talk about stuff some names are gonna be mentioned but it's not to drag people because that's what you want Y'all want me to drag people. Y'all want me to have that get into more drama. Listen, I've been living my year, minding my own business, and it's been great. Of course, there's been some garbage because there are garbage people in this city, but I've been great overall. Like, I don't have to worry about anything. I'm not about to, like, try and give you that kind of unnecessary attention that you guys want because, like, that's just not me. Like, I actually don't care. Like, leave me alone, you know? So, what we're gonna be talking about is, we're gonna start off with what a lot of people, even someone, like, my best friend asked me, I guess I didn't tell him, oops. But, I mean, we're gonna be talking about the whole thing with my ex-best friend. So, a lot of you guys know who that is, who she is. Yeah, she's appeared in some of my past videos. Um, I mean, she's fine, I guess. I wouldn't know. Like, people keep asking me what happened with her. I'm not saying her name because you should know who she is. Like, I don't, that's, uh, to be honest, I don't even completely remember because that part of my life has been forgotten, like blocked out a lot of it. I don't even remember specific details. It's been like a year, like about a year since I even spoke to her in person last. She's fine. I mean, like I apologize to her. She apologized to me for what happened. And like, we don't hate each other. We're just not friends. Like I'm indifferent. Like when I think about her and people are probably going to be like, oh no, you're just like saying that. No. How you know that you've truly forgiven someone or that you're truly over a situation is when you can think about that person and not have any animosity towards them in your heart like in your mind you don't think badly you don't have any ill will for them i don't have any ill will for her i hope she's doing great i don't know if she's doing great but i don't really care to find out like i'm glad that she's doing well for herself that's what i'm trying to say like there's no hate here i know you wanted me to say that there's hate but there's no hate that's all i have to say about that next it's actually been crazy the amount of guys that have slid into my dms again after either being rejected or after being like cut off since i've been back just wanting to be like how have you been like what are you saying like why do you care now like what why like you i obviously of course did not reciprocate because i had nothing to say to you i didn't want to talk to you so why are you talking to me now like i don't care how you're doing let's just get that straight i don't want to pursue any sort of friendship with you don't ask me how i am ask me if i'm busy ask me if i'm around ask me if i can come over because i can't i don't have time for you i don't like you don't have time for you and i'm busy so i just don't get like why you think that because time has passed now means that I'm supposed to make time for you. I'm not. I don't have time to deal with toxic people or just people who are useless, like people who don't help you get anywhere. Are you going to be paying me? Are you going to be, you know, investing in any of my upcoming ideas, projects? No, didn't think so. Then don't talk to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, let me be honest. You have been one of the most ride or die people around like all of your stupid useless friends you know who you are we're always telling you oh cut her off she's not worth having around as if you know me but anyways as if that like <sighs> she's done this she's done that cut her off and not your stupid useless group chat that you all really think makes you some tough ass niggas like no no one cares you don't really have the nerve to be talking about me like you know me and as if what you have your irrelevant ass negative opinion bears any weight to anybody all you're doing is gossiping the way middle school girls do and thinking it makes you cool like are you are you are you dumb so we're all 20 and above around let's act accordingly do you see what i'm saying honestly i don't care because here's the thing if you hear something about me that you didn't hear from me or if you hear something about me that you don't actually know 
for sure confirm it with me you have every access to communicate with me i have public accounts on all platforms why can't you just come to me because you just want to be believing word of mouth as if gossip isn't alive and well in 2018 like are you are we dumb like let's not be that way you know what i mean if you believe a rumor that's on you like you're as bad as the person who started it yeah i have no problem with <laughs> moving on you've really tried it with me like and you know that i talked to you about this i told you i'm gonna be talking about you <laughs> friends okay nothing more we're friends like let's just dead that nothing else we are friends moving on oh and a lot of you wanted to know who that person was who i was referring to in the part one who was being so nasty for no reason that was i'll just say it was a windsor rapper there aren't that many notable ones so you can just assume you you, you know which one it was he knows who he is so like honestly where i am right now i'm doing me i'm making moves in silence i don't have to be in the center of the caw i don't have to be around all of these parties i don't have to be going to all these places to be considered cool or to be if i'm not doing that oh i must be in some sort of depression or I'm going through something like no we all go through stuff but as you can probably see downtown isn't what it used to be there's a lot of tragic stuff that happens down there and i don't have any business there on a regular basis i would much rather be in my bed working on something or sleeping you know so i don't need to be at all these parties and then be tired in the morning this is just going out to everybody leave me alone i don't have any interest in your gossip i don't if you want to lie to your friends please go ahead and do so i mean you're a terrible person but i can't stop you and that has nothing to do with me my thing is do not lie on my name don't use my name to lie like if you want to lie fine but don't include me in your lies with me my friends know what's up like they know what's up don't include me in it i have no beef with anybody if you hear otherwise they're lying to you and that's a rumor and don't feed into gossip you know of course there are people i don't like to that person who prevents me from seeing my friends at their own house on a regular basis who keeps telling people that i and you have an issue i've literally never done anything to you in your life so stop talking about me i don't care that you don't like me like i've never vibed with you to the extent where i can choose to like you or dislike you we don't have any issues i don't think about you and obviously you think enough about me to be hating on me to this extent like what made you so butt hurt that i can't see my own friends i literally have no business with you i don't want to see you i want to see the people who happen to live with you some of my friends who happen to live with you i haven't even seen since i've been back so please you may have your own inner demons you know just running amok within yourself but don't drag me into it don't be saying that we have beef so then people are thinking oh what's wrong with her last time i spoke to you which was i think maybe last year it was a pleasant conversation like hello hi and then we went our separate ways so what communication have i ever had with you since then that's right none so don't talk about me you know who you are and you know i don't know what's plaguing you on the inside but just deal with that without putting my name in it because we don't have any issues people like to just use me and demonize me villainize me for whatever reason because it's easy because i'm not conforming to whatever you guys want because i say things that people are afraid to say because i may say too many things that y'all don't like that's not my that's not my problem that actually just really pisses me off because it's like i don't need to associate with you just you can be bothered all on your own or with someone else who has the time but i don't have the time okay just don't include me in your problems and we won't have one together okay anyways that's i don't think i left anything out right so as i'm editing i realized that i forgot to put something actually quite pertinent that happened to me this year um davis davies whatever whatever the hell your name is um you're trash and i want you to know that like deep within you that you can never escape that fact you are literally the worst person that i've ever met the lies that you came up with weren't even believable and if anybody in that stupid group chat of you guys has believed it i don't know why but i don't doubt that there are people who are as stupid as you who would hang out with you but this isn't to call any of them out this is about you you just said i don't even know why i had the nerve to actually be hurt by that like maybe it's because i trusted you at the time and i i don't have a problem mentioning your name because like i said i've never met anybody worse than you and i've met a lot of pretty terrible people like you're awful you're so bad in every single way like every single way think about it you're just 
terrible. I'm tired at this point, so that's really all I have to say. Um, final little message to all my haters, all the people who just don't like me for no coherent reason. Enemies of progress, haters, all of you people, um, just know you can hate on me as much as you want, but you're never gonna stop me. As my really, one of my inspirations and one of my friends says, I'm pretty and I'm smart get over it the more you hate on me the more i thrive because i have more to talk about and you will still watch so why are you complaining anyways bye